It's Deej and I'm back with another video. This one's on Meet Your Maker, the newly released trap-based building game. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a near enough impossible to escape trap base. One that you can scale and make bigger, smaller, however you see fit. It's a very difficult base to escape from once you've collected the gen mat. So if you see here, I built these lava walls and they're here for a reason. Obviously, you don't want people clinging onto the walls. You're going to want people to sprint through these Cor this corridor here and you'll see why in just a second it's not as long as i wanted it to be you can make this much longer um but we're going to grab the gen mat and we're going to see what happens with this base i we'll start walking through here we can't grapple anything we can grapple the floor and these exploding bodies are going to fall and kill us like i said i would have wanted it a bit longer and you can make it as long as you want the thing with the bodies is you can't slash them, you can't destroy them. Obviously, you can't block them. That is the way you can get around it. Um, Phoenix kits don't work because once you collect the gen mat, they break. And ultimately, you stop intruders from escaping almost every single time. So the way I built this, we're going to go into build mode. I have it on social because I don't know if there's rules against making impossible bases. Um, I know there's no rules against making very difficult ones, but I don't know if there's rules against making impossible ones. So we're going to go into the building menu here and see what I've done. So, quite simple, to be honest. And you can, like I said, you can scale this out as far as you want, as far as you need. I'm just going to get out. Oh, I'm going to find an escape route here without damaging too much. So, oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> so we're going to go up here. We're going to open up the roof a little bit. And you can see I have guards that explode stationed all along these areas here. So with these traps here, the way I have it set up is that there's lava, lava here, no lava there, lava here, and they're all blocked in, caged in. You can, you can do any sort of configuration. The main thing you want to do is have a singular lava trap next to a guard, an exploding guard. If you look at the augment I have here, dead man switch, that, that lets that guard die and then explode. Well, it doesn't die. When it dies, it explodes. And this trap here is a corrosive cube but i have it as opaque so that they can't see what's going on upstairs but it's also built into the second wave that's very important um otherwise the guards will die as the player spawns down here if you set their patrol path so you want to set this particular one here to second wave and opaque and the one below doesn't need to be it can i, I like to have them opaque as well so they don't know what's going on um but if you go to the mods here, I only have it opaque, no second wave. So you can actually see everything's fine. Everything looks pretty normal. There's a big lava corridor. And then on the second wave, that second piece of lava will, will open up, allowing the guard to die. So you record the guard patrol and you need to be as quick as possible. Move forward, stand guard. So if you didn't see that, I'll do it very slowly. So you get the guard. You can see the lava ahead. You want to move forward and stand guard. Now... The important bit is getting that as quick as possible. So as soon as you hold square, you're moving forward. Stand guard. That way, as soon as that cube disappears in wave two, which would be after you collect the gen mat, that guard will start to move forward and fall down as well. So very important to get that quick. And I've just kind of trapped it all up. Not trapped it, but I've, I've blocked it all up. So there aren't any save points that the player can use. Because if you give them a save point, they can wait for the, the guards to explode and the whole trap base falls apart. So going back to the very, very start here, I need to find the entrance. I've lost my own entrance here. Um, what I've done here, and you can do this yourself, um, I like to do this in most of my bases, um, is set up a sort of double flaming trap here, or double lava trap on the treasure vaults. Um, that way people can choose to get them, but they die. It's sort of like a trade. You die, I get your, your materials. You get the materials there, and we both win. Um, but as you can see here, so I've put fl uh, lava walls all along here so they can't grapple onto it. Um, you can obviously grapple the floor. And I believe in this particular base, if they were quick enough grappling the floor, they could probably make it to the exit. But you can make this a lot longer. If you get lucky enough and have a, a zone that has um, very little excess walls my one unfortunately has a number of excess walls and one of the things i can do is i can make it loop and turn and and, and make it go longer which i think i probably will do depending on how many people get through this one i might make it wind around the best option is to make a straight line because it looks better it's cooler um 
and it's much easier to manage. However, you can do it in a winding way like this as well. So the way you do it specifically to ensure that it kills the player no matter where they're standing along that corridor is to have the, the gen mat itself is going to be down here. Um, let's see if I can get it out here. I can rebuild this if I need to. So the gen mat itself is there. Obviously, you can't put anything there. So you want to block the back end of that so they can't hide once the, the bombs are going off and immediately have the first iteration of the guards coming down on the first one. Then you skip one and then you go again on the second one here. So every second block is going to be lava guard. Every second block. And that's the way I've done it all along here. You can see here there's a gap there. Guards there. Go along here. Guards there. Go along here. Guards there. And obviously th this is the main focus of the trap. Um, and I would say have lava on top of the the um, the gen mat, or you can put a blank block there, whichever. Um, it does come out to be a normal trap base. Um, I, I, normal trap base. A normal sort of base, which is good because it, it makes more people want to come um, because it's, it, it's perceived as being easier. However, they'll quickly realize that it's a very difficult one to escape from. Um, so you can use this on your, on your friends. Again, I don't know if there's rules against making impossible bases, hence why I have this social. I just wanted to share this. Um, and it'll probably get patched. I'm assuming that down the line, they will make you complete the base in order to complete the whole, the whole loop. I know they have the, the harvester as a condition, which is a good safety measure. However, they should make the creating player, when they're making it public, they should make the creating player complete their own trap base at least once. Um, that would solve sort of impossible bases um, being an issue, because I've seen a few of them already. Um, obviously, this game is for fun, um, and it is quite fun, and it's interesting to see how people can get you trapped in certain bases. Um, this is one of those examples. Um, but yeah, it, it's very, very simple. Um, you want to leave no gaps. You want to ensure, obviously, that there's a good coverage. Um, and it doesn't look too obvious. Um, it needs to look appealing on, the, on the, uh, the thumbnail. You can build a whole box around this, which I find quite jarring, so I don't really do that. But this one's hidden behind sort of a mountainous region, which gives the impression that perhaps the base itself is in here. Um, but it's not, obviously, you know that. Um, but also you can, you can always trap these things as well as a side sort of project, which I'm going to do as well. Um, you saw I did the one down there. Um, but I always recommend sort of giving sort of a trade for these um, with two lava bricks, um, just so that you get more kills, basically. And the person who gets them gets a good trade-off. So, yeah. If you've seen any interesting bases yourself, obviously leave them in the comments. Um, I'll, I'll take a look. I don't know if you can do like a share, but I, I think you can do social social builds. Um, but in short, this is the this is the base. I'm just going to close it up here. And I know I've, I've made a few mistakes in terms of um, the gapping. Um, but we're going to go here. And if, you, if you'd like me to build this base from scratch, um, happy to do a video on that. I might just do it because I might do this again on another place with a, a much better plane. Um, but I just wanted to get this out because the game's recently been released. I mean, recently, it's literally just out. Um, and I wanted to get this out to, to, to share what I what I've done basically. Um, so I'm going to close that off. We're going to drop down here. I'm going to close that. And what's down here again? So we're down here. There is obviously lava alone is never enough to stop players. And I've learned that in a few bases I've made. Um, you need to make sure that you have covered ho all the holes, um, even beyond the lava. Because if you use your grapple, you can get through one layer of lava. Um, so make sure that you cover all the holes so people don't escape prematurely. Um, so we're going to try it again. We're going to test from the start, very, very start, just to show it in action one more time. And I'll show you kind of how you beat this as well um, with this particular iteration. If you make it too long, it's impossible to get out of. Um, well, near enough, you can use shields and things. But um, So like I said, I've got sort of a trade-off here. They go down, they get the stuff, and they die. Um, then you come up here. It looks ominous. You don't hear any of the enemies, so you don't actually know what's going on if you're a first time sort of player. You grab this, and you're trying to escape as quick as possible. Bombs fall. And, oh! 
I think I died there, but I pressed X to jump and it re Yeah, I think I died there. Um, but that's that's the simple, simple sort of near impossible trap base. Just wanted to share it with you. Let me know your thoughts. Um, do you think these should be allowed just out of for sort of artistic purposes in a way? Or do you think that players should have to complete their own trap bases before making them public? Let me know in the comments. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this game as much as I am. I certainly am. And I, I can't wait to see what sort of future updates and, and, and modifications they, they release down the line. Um, other than that, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.